All right, so anyway, I bought one of these. It's a power drain auger, 18 volts. I'm hoping it works with these batteries because it doesn't come with one. So we're gonna check it out. All right, so for uh, about $74, you get this. You don't get a battery, but I do have batteries here. It does come with an owner's manual, which you should probably read. It's got auto feed. I guess that's reverse, and it's just like a drill. Same kind of idea. And um, you can hold it here and hold it here to get her going, which is uh, pretty interesting. So we gotta try it out. Okay, so anyway, this works on the 18 volts, and uh, I have the 18 volts that I have for my um, uh, drills, and I bought these on Amazon. But they do also, they also work with this. So this is how you put the battery in. Got a hole there, right? You gotta find the hole. <laughs> like that. Just slide it in there. Locks it on. And then, bam. That's how it turns. Okay, so anyway, you got a pommel. And when you squeeze this, what it does is it, you can see, watch, it tightens that. So let's see if I do that. Reverse it. So anyway, this is supposed to lock it on. So if I pull on that and I push it, now it's locked. All right, so now if I hold it and I push it this way, it's unlocked. But you can't move it unless you pull this in and then push it. So now it's locked. I mean, now it's, now it's, now this thing's locked in there. So if I squeeze it, and I put it in forward. There she comes. It comes out pretty slow. So here, let me show you. That's coming out. I'm going to reverse it by pressing this thing here, but the other side over here, right here. And then I'm going to press it. Watch. And then it comes back. And that's basically how it works. So you feed it in by going forward and you pull it back by going backwards. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna try it, see how she works. Hopefully it's gonna work good. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so anyway, if I push this, it's gonna go in reverse. If I push this side, which is would be the right side when it's away from me, it goes forward. So watch, this one's forward, right? And it comes out. Now I press on here, it's gonna go in reverse pulls back okay it's pretty strong too so be careful <laughs> all right let's give it a shot and see how it works okay so we're kind of figuring this out as we go so right now this is uh it's got it shows it in a locked position but if i push it this way then this is loose right this is loose but if i pull push it this way and i to do that i gotta press down here then push that through. Now it's in the lock position. And now I, I don't have to um, you know, hold this and it'll just go in. So this, these right here, it's super tight on here. And if I press it and I wanna go forward, if I wanna go in reverse, I go on this side here. And that's it. All right, let's go try it on the toilet. See what happens. So what I have to do is pull this toilet and then snake the drain out uh, with our auger. And that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to show you pulling me the toilet, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. Because as you can see, it's not draining. And uh, I do believe it's in the drain pipe that we have to snake. So I've pulled the toilet and now I'm going to go ahead and get my Ryobi auger drain snake. And we're going to snake this sucker. Here we go. All right, so anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going to speed this up, and uh, that's why you, you see it moving so quickly. And uh, I'm also going to uh, speed up the reversal on it, which I'm going to do. Now, when I reversed it, I had to, uh, I had to uh, help pull it up because it kind of got caught in a couple spots. And when I brought it up um, and got through the one area, that water immediately flushed out, and um, you're going to see that. In a minute, but I got to put my gloves on, and then we'll get at it. And see, uh, see what the hell's going on here. All right, so now I'm reversing the uh, auger and pulling the um, 
thing out. And as it's spinning, it's catching on something. And I had to kind of help it with my hand. It was pulling it out of there. And at one point it got stuck and I had to use both hands. But I'm, I didn't videotape it because I had to use both hands at that time. And I was worried that I might have gotten the damn thing stuck down there. But uh, you're going to see in a minute the crazy thing that I pull out of here. It's unbelievable. You're going to go, what? All right, so I do believe that we may have our culprit. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. It's pretty big. Look at this. Oh, that is, that is it right there. That is what was blocking the toilet. So, got a pretty big situation here. All right, so anyway, this is what I just pulled out of there. So we've got a, looks like we got, we got a real root problem in there, don't we? All that stuff was in there. So anyway, we got to take this outside. And I got to get my other glove on. <laughs> oh my God, unbelievable. That's what was in my drain. And you can see it's, it looks like it's been infiltrated by a lot of, I don't know, freaking some kind of plant got in there. I don't think that's all human hair. It could be with shit mixed in with it <laughs> but anyway this sucker worked man this baby is bad ass i highly recommend getting one of these all right if you like this video subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on things